Meantime, to the I team now, a Georgia homeowners burned by unreliable rooftop solar companies say they hope a proposed new law will protect others. The Fox 5 I team exposed the outlandish promises made by some companies in a hidden camera investigation last year. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis returns with what a proposed law would mean for this growing industry. I regret every second of every phone call or just signing the paper and inviting that man into my home. Jennifer O'Malley's solar story is filled with darkness. It's frustrating. The retired corrections officer agreed to pay nearly $50,000 for Solar Titan USA to outfit her Buford home, hoping to provide reliable power for an autistic family member. We really wanted solar, like we wanted solar for a decade, and that was the worst decision we've ever made. When we invited a Solar Titan USA salesman to a house last year, we learned he had just been on the job a short time. We decided to hide his face but not his peppy sales pitch. We're the best, that we work that hard, that we have the best practices, the best processes, the best customer service. But he told us many things that were not true. Like if we paid nearly $58,000 for solar, financed for 25 years, we would no longer have a power bill. Am I still gonna pay for power? No, no, that's the, so with this, this right here you pay, this would take care of all your, all your, all of your usage. How can you make that promise? Uh, I'm not gonna answer any questions from you, man. Uh, this is real uncomfortable for me. Not as uncomfortable as all these customers, either from Solar Titan USA out of Tennessee or Pink Energy from North Carolina, another company we caught misleading the public. Each of these people discovered their systems did not work as promised, sticking them with two big monthly bills instead of one. A year later, the sun has now set on those out-of-state companies. They've closed their doors, leaving hundreds of Georgians like Jennifer with worthless systems. But regulations may soon be on the horizon. We use a number of your stories um, really as evidence, um, along with um, just what we want to do with the bill. State Representative Joseph Gullett hopes to pass HB 73 this year. It will require written disclosures clearly explaining what customers are buying a video they must watch so they can ask better questions, and a rule that every rooftop solar provider must be specially certified by the state of Georgia, a status that can be revoked by too many customer complaints. I want solar, residential solar to succeed in Georgia, and I want Georgia companies to succeed in Georgia. But not all Georgia companies like the bill, specifically the part allowing the Public Service Commission to issue those key certifications. A group made up of local installers worries the PSC will not be a supporter of solar power overall and could stifle the industry just as it's getting back on its feet. We should not be regulated like a, a, like a utility is in the state of Georgia. It sets a bad precedent. I can sympathize with what they're saying. I just don't think it's the truth. Changes could come when the bill moves to the Senate. Make sure everybody's doing the right thing because people like me who are on a fixed budget can't afford $50,000 mistakes. In Buford, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.